guys, we we lost one. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, there, was five, there was five people on this show. <laughs> so anyway, guys, welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Podcast. We've got a new guest today, along with another newer guest. So it's really nice to have them. And and the other one, here she is. She's coming. She is. Is, Boom. Is, is not quite back yet. There she is. <laughs> she made it. <laughs> we Got lost you. Out. There? <laughs> well, Hello. How rude. Yeah, yeah, I know. John's fault. Just too happened. damn crowded. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Podcast. Need to remind everybody that we are an audio podcast also. So, if you listen to the audio podcast on your cell phone, uh, most likely you're using Spotify or iHeartRadio or some other kind of a device. And you just type in Ranger Rob Country Living Podcast and you'll find our show and put us in your favorites. And you can check out all of our 64 episodes. Yes, sir. 64. That's a year's worth of a uh, podcast every week. And, and then some. So uh, anyway, guys, so you can check us out that way. I also wanted to let you know we're now on Twitch for those that use Twitch. And uh, I do need to remind some people because I've had a lot of people asking, which I'm very, 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 very grateful. Uh, when, you know, when can they start buying pork? And I say, <laughs> we're not online yet. It's being built. It actually is a very sophisticated website with shopping carts and whole works being done with a company called Barn the Door. And so it won't be available till April. So, uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. We got the domain, but it is Central Oregon growing, and it will be online eventually when it's all the bits and pieces are put together. So hang in there. So, it, But I do appreciate people asking, and, and actually, they're ready to sign up now, and I appreciate that. So, wow. And last but not least, we uh, uh, invite people that, if you're brave and would like to... Uh, you know, to be brave, don't be scared. Come on in. If you'd like to come and join our chat or join the podcast during the live show, we have a link at the very top that you can click. And based your cell phone and or your laptop or computer has a um, a webcam and a microphone built in, you're ready to go. There's no software to download or anything. Very, very easy. I think uh, the first thing it asks you is what you want to be called. And, uh, ah, and John, you found a new button. The little oh, thing that yeah. tells you where you can put um, put your uh, you can put your web address now or anything you want. You can see it under my name. You can see it under John's. It's a new part in there. So anybody that comes on the show, if you want to advertise your website or uh, your Facebook page or anything like that, you can also type that in before you come on the show. So uh, I think I covered all that. And don't let me forget to do shout outs today, guys. So the goal of the down the line here. <laughs> we have a new person on here that isn't new. He's on watches the show all the time, and he's also an Idaho pasture pig. And he's gone. No, is my gone or Rob's uh, gone? And he raises Rob's apples. Friend. And he raises. Um, I guess you raise apples. I guess you grow apples. He grow apples. And, <laughs> and he also grows uh, honey all by himself. I, and, and, and sometimes he even invites the bees. <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah so we have jim pearson's with us uh first time on the show thank you so much for coming on the show the other guest we have of course is rev uh, and i'm not sure why he calls it rev show you got to explain that to me oh why am i called the rev show yeah oh because i used to play music uh for drunk people in the bar and that's kind of <laughs> what, what i used to go by is the rev show that's where I oh, saw you. The heck with this sober. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if, you, if you vacationed on the Outer Banks any time in the last five years, you probably saw. <laughs> and I need to remind you that Rev also has, in fact, everybody on the panel here has Idaho pasture pigs. Nice. And, uh, so uh, yeah, uh, I think I think all good of us are living, people. Then yeah, all of us are living our pigs so far. Oh yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I've got a very, very horny boar right now. <laughs> Every time I go out there, he's <laughs> it's like I can't get that the faces he makes. I just can't get it out of my mind. It's like, <laughs> oh my god. So I, I'm I'm damaged for life. But uh yeah, uh, he's and still... one of ours acts like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they bark a lot. Does um Rev and John, do your pigs bark a lot? 
um, my, my pig, my, both those pigs, when they, uh, in the morning, I sing to them every morning when I feed them. And they, uh, when they, when they come around the corner, yeah, they're ho, 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 ho. Yeah. They, they know. It's so cute. So, my, my Mine sound dog. like monkeys more, more than, more than dogs, I would say. They sound <laughs> like monkeys. Like, the boar, the, my boar though, Valentino, he sounds like a dog quite a bit, I, I would think. But most of the time they sound, they just sound like monkeys. Yeah. I know Mine's, I've asked you before. How, how old is your boar again? <laughs> My boy, he's he's nine months old. Ah, he's he's getting there. It won't be long. Yeah, he's yeah. He he's trying. He's trying. He sure is. Is, is he a live action boar or is he a a, a what do you call a castrated boar? <laughs> oh no, he's, no, he's live. He's live action. That's why we named him Valentino. We're hoping he lives up to that name. To be honest, with yeah, you. it's gonna get really interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, after, they don't tell you much about what happens to a boar after they're a year old. They change. <laughs> yeah, that's up. that's what you were saying in that video. I'm 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 considering hard fencing his area because of what you were saying in that video. Yeah, I didn't have a problem before. Well, he was like a little puppy before, but now <laughs> he's a boar. His brain's in a whole different area now. <laughs> <laughs> he's in there trying, but but she's she's young too. My guilt. So. uh I've been telling everybody it's kind of like a junior high dancer, but you know nobody really knows what what's going on and what to do and what not to do. You know what I mean? But yep. they're in there trying. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, before we go any further, guys, oh, I didn't inter- I didn't even introduce my host. Uh, so we got John and Debbie up above. Us. <laughs> up above, and of course Amy down below. She's uh, not feeling a uh, hundred percent today, so. Uh, uh-huh. Something tells me she'll blank out a few times to blow her nose. <laughs> she's not feeling too good. Okay. <laughs> Poor okay. We're so thankful that she's here. We told her, well, she doesn't have, you know, we'll just make fun of her during the show. This, that's a highlight of us old people. So <laughs> make, gotta get, go after them youngins. All right. Before we go any farther, we got to do our shout outs. It's time for Ranger Rob shout outs. Yes, this is the time we want to recognize businesses websites and services here's today's spotlights all right panel <laughs> uh i've been trying to make it a tradition on this show to do shout outs for something that's this week that's happened to you that you're really impressed with whether it was a business in your area or the website you watch or a channel you saw the other day um uh, and i already have mine written down so i'll let anybody on the panel that has a shout out to go for it Go for it. All at once. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start. With, we'll start with J, uh, J and D here. What, what do you got? What do you got? Go ahead. Uh, shout out to the grandkids for stopping by yesterday. Oh, sweet! And they came in late, but they had to leave early. And shoot, <laughs> they're truck driving, so they came from Florida. Wow. Well, now you're a, a podcast star. You get to do a you know, uh, sign books, say anything for them now? Autographs? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, I built him shelves inside of his truck. Oh, that's right. Oh, nice. I, I, guess sent him, no. I sent him home with a bunch of food. That's good. Your good grandma. Mm-hmm. So any any, uh, any other shout-outs you guys, you two have? Uh, not, not really. Uh-uh. All right. I'll move right over to Rab. How about you? You haven't seen anything magnificent this week? Um, I found a great YouTube channel called Homestead Heart, and it's a oh, couple yeah. out of Georgia. And uh, she is this like extremely uh, 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 upbeat, you know. And uh, it's just a great channel altogether. So Homestead Heart, everybody. All right, I have to check we, that we, one we out. We do watch Homestead Heart here. <laughs> well. I like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, how about you, John Pearson? <laughs> You know, I haven't watched anything new, but as long as we're doing shout outs, and it's my first time on the podcast, this I'm going to do a shout out to my friend EJ, who's going to be coming over here to the house here in about. He's uh, he's 11, and he's coming to the house in about 45 minutes, and uh, he, he's he's going to be excited to watch this on TV. So, so TJ Persons, shout out, buddy. Cool. I'll bring him on shout the camera. Shout out to TJ. For <laughs> before the show's over, make sure you have him. Pop his head uh, in the camera there. Happen, but if it does, it, we, we'll do it. <laughs> All right. Any, anybody else or businesses or a website you really enjoyed lately? Channels? 
All right. Oh, we got to keep this ball rolling here. Amy, how you, I know you don't feel very good. But do you have any shout outs today? A uh, shout out to my oldest daughter who showed me how to work the uh, egg incubator. Oh. It has been some years since we used it, probably three, but she knew just how to do it. So we got a batch okay. to 12 oh, stop, incubator. Stop right and, um, you guys probably may not have noticed it, but we went offline for a second. So uh, Amy, can you start over with your shout outs? Please. Yep. <laughs> shout out to my oldest daughter. Are we back? Aubrey, yep. Yep, you're good. Yeah. Uh, Aubrey showed me how to use the egg incubator which we hadn't used in about three years and i wasn't sure how to do it. so what the heck look at that microphone <laughs> it's not working <laughs> that is that thing's a weapon <laughs> but yeah yeah is your microphone going out on you yep it did yeah uh, go to your settings down below, and you can switch to a different, different. Um, go Something to your about her voice. Yeah. But anyway, if you go to your settings, go to the audio part, and you can switch what where uh, where it wants to, you, what microphone to use, and you can switch it to your laptop if you want to. So anyway, I'll I'll let her play with that a little bit. Are you looking um, at the comments, Rob? Oh, no, I am not. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I have, I, even turned that on. I have small town <laughs> tourists with us. Uh, Elijah, we got Jack, small town tourists again. And I got to read all this now, but uh, um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, so we got a, uh, I want to offer promotions to my channel. That's awfully nice. Delete. Yeah. Sorry, guy. <laughs> Anyway, so I'll, uh, I'll catch up with that. So we got uh, the Yeti. Let's see. What are you guys talking about over there? Armchair engineering. Yep. Extra long handles. Oh, you're talking about poopy bags. <laughs> <laughs> Good subject. So before I forget, don't forget to buy your poopy bags on Amazon. Uh, don't let your dog poop without them. All right. So uh, my shout outs, I want to get in uh, and I will get things under control here shortly on the chat. Don't know what's, I can't get it to do what I want it to do. Um, today we're going to be talking about infrastructure and documentation because uh, if you guys watched my video, I think it was today or Monday, I talked about um, a subject that uh, Amy brought up and I think is a really important one. So I'll, I'll bring it up here in a second. Um, <laughs> John, you're on a roll there. <laughs> um, that's John, John Smith from small town tourists. I, I, I got to forget. I've got two Johns on this. <laughs> I remember we had him on the show like two weeks ago and we didn't know what I kept saying John and everybody go, what? <laughs> so anyway, um, I got to finish my shout outs real quick. I want to also, I gave him a shout out already once, but I'm going to do it again is Cascade Auto Repair here in Redmond, Oregon. They're working on the almighty truck, and uh, I don't let just anybody touch that truck. So uh, he uh, uh, found a lot of things that I wanted fixed and then some, and I, and the number he gave me was incredibly better than I was expecting it to be. So I, uh, I and it's a one-ton truck, so you know everything on it is expensive. That's so, right. We appreciate it. Okay. My two acres being bulldozed right now, and, and it's actually not. Yeah, you know, I expected him to use a bulldozer, but it came in with a, um, a scoop with a little claw, and so he's going in there instead of ripping everything up, he's actually literally pulling the sagebrush out of the ground like, <laughs> like he's plucking them wow. and he's putting them in a nice pile. It's amazing. I I, I thought. That seems like a weird you know, piece okay, of equipment. Okay, i got to interrupt here for a minute. Yeah. He's actually talking about his back 40, his yard area, and not his truck. Oh. Yeah, you, you blanked out. <laughs> yes, I am talking about, I'm talking about shout-outs now. But, uh, yeah, truck, Good catch, John. Thanks for clarifying that. 
anyway, Jack Kennedy is the guy that's coming in to do the work. He lives on Crooked River Ranch in our area. And I actually videotaped him. And I wanted to play a little bit of the part that I did for him for his uh, what he does for the local area in Central Oregon. So I'm going to add him here. So, guys, right here. this is uh, Jack Kennedy right here. And he lives on the ranch. And he's much more macho than I am because I've got like 500 jackets on and stuff. But I don't know so, about uh, macho. <laughs> so you do a lot of uh, uh, projects on the ranch for people, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I've done some driveways. I've done uh, a lot of moving sheds. I've got some forks with a skid steer. So it's been nice. kind of nice to be able to take care of people out here on the ranch. Yeah. Well, he, uh, I know he does, like, if we get a lot of snow and you need someone to do your, uh, your driveways and stuff like that, Jack's... Well, just find, remember Jack Kennedy. He's on Facebook, easy to find. You right. use a messenger right there and talk to him. But uh, so we're really excited to see his cool toy here. How well he'll get this sage up. Uh, and you got about two acres here to do, yeah, something yeah, like that. So yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be a fun trip. Yeah. So I would be curious to see how all well the how it does with the. Instead of scraping it, you're kind of digging them instead. Well, I'm going to actually try to use that thumb and pluck them so that I want to keep it as clean as possible so that you can still burn it. Because yeah. if I mix too much dirt, then it's harder to burn. Yeah, I so. would, that's <laughs> what happened over here. So, so we'll try to keep it as clean as we can and just kind of pile it up in places so that you can just burn away and get yeah. it ready for what you need to do. So uh, would you uh, do projects for people? Is there like a... Uh, certain times of year that are a little better for you or, or um, depends on the project like right now i wouldn't suggest doing much driveways because the ground's so frozen yeah. and what happens with frozen ground when it starts to thaw it gets moisture and you'll lose a lot of your rock yeah. so and you can't hardly grade it very well either so you kind of want to wait till that goes out um, but it's a good time for snow removal it's a good time for stuff like this as long as there's not too much moisture in the ground yeah because if you got too much moisture, you're going to have nothing but a mud pit, and then it takes forever to get it to heal. <laughs> it can't get muddy back oh, yeah. there. So, guys, on Facebook, uh, just look uh, look up Jack Kennedy, mm -hmm. and uh, you'll recognize him right away. Just look in the profile. And if you have questions about projects you have in your yard, uh, I'm him. Just use the little messenger button and uh, get a discussion going and find out what you can work out with him. Yeah, and I'd be happy to meet anybody at their place and go over it and kind of give them a quote or see what it takes to get them to keep them happy. Yeah, sounds good. They're great people out here. I love living here. Yeah, it's, it's only taken them three months to get out here, but yeah. our, my, our weather's been terrible. And so he's been respecting the fact that he didn't want to turn this place into a mud hole. Yeah. So we we do appreciate that. So. Yeah. So it's winter, Central yeah. Oregon. Don't feel too sorry for him. He's got heat in that thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not a discomfort. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Well, we'll let him go to work. All right. So he's uh. So there. That was Jack. <laughs> he's one of those roughneck guys. He walks up and he's like, "I am such a pussy." <laughs> <laughs> he comes walking up. He's just like, "Hey, how's it going?" Hey, eh? he's like, "Okay, this guy knows what he's doing." <laughs> so he's a super nice guy. He's doing a great job. Uh, he's going to finish up tomorrow, and our two acres will be completely clear, and we can start moving our pigs back there for permaculture reasons and all that good stuff. So, nice. uh, yeah, pretty excited about that. And uh, he was actually very, I, th I thought, was a pretty reasonable cost to do it. So, thank you, Jack. So. And that's all I have for shout outs too. So anybody else getting last minute shout outs? All right, we're gonna move on. We've got things to talk about. Like, well, I know everybody's got something going on with infrastructure. <laughs> so uh, um, before we get going up. Uh, we were kind of confused about your website. documentation. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna get into documentation here in a minute. Cause I got a kind of a sentence or paragraph for that. Um, what uh, Elijah was asking how our weather was doing, and he says it's cold over there, but no snow. Chickens have been laying great. So how how do you guys respond to that? It's, too. it's cold here, <laughs> and mine never stopped laying. Even when it was what four degrees, yep, they never stopped laying. Mine either. I uh, I give them fireball, and um, they're good to go. <laughs> they just fireball pop them out. fixes everything. <laughs> You know, I was going to uh, dispatch a couple of my OGs that, uh, you know, weren't weren't uh, laying, producing, or doing anything. I'm thinking, ah, you know what? I love them, but, but uh, they still would be delicious. But um, as of today, seven chickens, seven eggs. They, uh, wow. they knew something was coming. So 
Yeah, you scared them. <laughs> so if we, for those who don't know, small town tourists is down the in Arizona. The shadow. <laughs> <laughs> so yep. Um, is is uh oh Jackie is here. Yep, shout out armchair engineer. That's him. That's uh it just wouldn't be right without Jack here. Um, right. Yeah. So uh um uh, so weather wise chickens think, have been laying fine. Chickens have been just fine. Same as same as John there. Seven chickens, <laughs> seven eggs yesterday. It's like but it's like uh it's like forty three degrees here. Yeah, it's, it's like a little Hawaii bit different than there. Yeah, that's warm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 what kind of weather is that? <laughs> we have a heat wave going on. Next uh, weekend it's supposed to be like sixty. Oh. Uh -uh. I might do the weird. podcast from the tracker. It'll be fun. <laughs> Gosh. I'm so tired of the cold. We are warming up a little bit, so that is nice. But now what happens is we have snow on the ground, it's melting. Then our cause we have kind of a sandy dirt. It turns into mud for one day, and then it dries out really quick, and then it's good. But um, but for that one day, it can be pretty muddy, so not much fun. And it's that way now that the snow has gone. Yeah. Almost gone. So uh, I, I know that there's some projects going on. I know John and Debbie's got their biggest one. Uh, so for infrastructure this year, people got new plans and new things they want to do this year. So I'll start with John and Debbie. So what's your newest infrastructure, your new buildings that you're building? The new chicken coop. Yep. That's We're finally, almost done. Yeah, finally got the door on it. Now we just have to finish the uh, the fencing around it and get that all permanently in the ground. Did you bring an electrician in for the hot tub for him? No, but the no, that's the schedule for next week. I did ah. put in the cable TV and the surround sound. So nice. we should be good. For did a you get a while. permit? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a door on it that's open for them. So it's not all enclosed. So we don't need a permit. <laughs> <laughs> you love those little but stipulations. For hall, let me tell you, it's huge. <laughs> Well, like I said before, if our pigs have a log cabin, I think chickens need something too. Yeah, geez. Wait, you guys think uh, new being built over there, uh, Rev? Um, yeah, we might do do a permanent fence for the uh, for the boar, like like we were talking about earlier. Um, I'm gonna have to do some kind of fencing around the fruit trees when they come, um, so that's gonna be a job. <laughs> Because we got yeah. there's deer out here, you know what I mean. Shane Shane can't run off all the deer out there, but uh, uh, I don't know. She's talking about she wants a bridge over the creek to our property on the backside too. So I I, I might have all kinds of stuff going on this yeah. summer. <laughs> and I uh, see this is one of the new birdies you guys bought. Yep, this is my silky. Silky, that's like she, that's like she, a glamour she, chicken. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the rest are them are, are have That's a job. How big the eggs are. <laughs> All the rest of them have a job. These are my babies, and they need their condominium. Yeah, well, you got you gonna make a condominium for the fifty you got coming later in the month. Yep. <laughs> Twenty eighth, they'll be here, Rob. So you wow. better be ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah, we get the Red Rangers coming in. You got your new little glamour chickens, and uh, uh, oh, and how's your barn coming along? We can't start it until it warms up. Yeah, because well, the concrete won't set. Maybe we can borrow some nice weather from the Rev. Yeah, Rev, cough it up. I have, I have a plethora. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rev, what area are you from? You in? Uh, I'm in North Carolina. I'm in the uh, oh. northwest corner. Of, I'm near Winston Salem. Oh, okay. Yeah, super nice. Super yeah. nice. He's oh, got grass. He's got ticks too. <laughs> I, I do. I do got grass and ticks. <laughs> that that would drive me crazy. But, but yeah. So, uh, John, what are you doing this year? New in the old uh, what? Couple of dozen acres you got over there in Oregon. Was that me? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, I, uh, um, I have, I don't have a couple dozen. I got five acres, but, uh, That's more than enough. Yeah. More than enough. Yeah. Um, no, I'm going to, uh, last year when we 
put in for the pigs. We did the, the, um, you know, the heavy fencing already and all that kind of stuff. When I got getting ready to get the, the new set of pigs that I got from you, which are doing a phenomenal, by the way, um, I put in the, uh, a, a double line uh, hot wire. So that's working fantastic. Um, I've decided, and, and we decided some time ago, I mean, before John and Debbie were talking about it and everything, not, not before they were talking about it, but a buddy of mine and, and I are, are going to be putting in some uh, tractors for some, or some chicken tractors for, uh, going to do some, going to try some meat birds. Um, I don't want to get too crazy. Uh, last year's garden was, uh, I had a little overcommitted. And so, uh, we're just we're gonna go slow this year. I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna incorporate about a 25 meat birds, and uh, outside of that, I'm gonna try to keep things above water. That's about it. Yeah, that's that's how that's we a, decided yeah. to do. Just kind of get our feet wet in it. And... Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, you watch the things like you watch Amy's stuff about the rabbits. I'm like, I want rabbits. You know, and you, <laughs> you want all this stuff. You want to go, 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 go. And and uh, gosh darn it. Somebody's got to, you know, weed eat the fence lines and, and mow and take care of the stuff. I just got done. Uh, I'm, I'm all done with my tree trimming for my apple trees this year. This year, um, next year will be a lot easier. But this year was, um, I mean, I started in October um, and I just, just got done, you know, 39 fruit trees. Mine are, my uh, apple trees are, are pretty mature, good sized trees, 39 of them. It's a lot of branches. That's a lot of work. Yeah, That's a lot of canning. Well, the, here's the thing. I don't can a lot of apples. I I should. I should. I drink a lot of apples. But that's, you know, that's that's what I do. Um, the apples that we do, we, we do, you know, a lot of applesauce and things like that. I've got, um, I, I don't know, I probably have 50, 50 or so apple trees on the property. And then I've got, you know, some plums and pears and different things like that. But the apples are the, the main thing. And uh, I do um, hard cider uh, fermenting. And then uh, what I don't uh, use, a buddy of mine here in uh, Eugene um, has a Wildcraft Cider Works. And their guys come out and nothing goes to waste. They'll come out and I'll, I'll let them uh, pick the, what's the rest of it and put together a uh, a cider. As a matter of fact, a couple of years ago, I mean to keep dragging on, but a couple of years ago, they actually had one of their farmhouse series ciders, which was just uh, person's apple farm apples, which was kind of cool. Kind of a you know neat novelty anyway. Yeah. By yeah. the way, uh, John Pearson. <laughs> Gotta get these names. <laughs> Otherwise, I get yes, 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 yes. Um, yes. I need uh, you need to start thinking about giving me pictures of your honey. I could do that. I could do yeah, that. We're getting closer. We're uh, in the uh, the website you can't see. Uh, we're actually building some of the inventory and fulfillment stuff, and uh, we are doing a section for non meat items in a mm -hmm. it'll probably be a week or two. We're going to start thinking about your honey. I need to need to do it. Need to do it. Yeah, so it was it was yeah. it was kind of interesting and, and and fun. The last three trees that I had to do this year, because this year I did thirty nine trees, and la the last three that I needed to do though were right there by my beehives, and uh, it was real cold and and everything. And I was like, okay, it's the bees. You know, I, I at this time of the year I don't go into the hives. I let them be. I I hope they make it through the winter. I hope that I've done my job in getting them set up properly and everything, but. Uh, the sun popped out a little bit on Saturday and uh, the temperature creeped up just real quick up to above 50 with the sun on the hives and they both the came wave. alive. So it ended up, uh, I had to finish the trees on Sunday because it was a little, little active, which is good. <laughs> well, they've been cooped up. <laughs> cooped up. That's right. Um, <laughs> John, John, John Smith's on a roll today. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Um, yeah, he was wondering how chickens drive our chicken tractors. And uh, <laughs> now he's uh, saying, well, you can't have a picture of my honey. So, uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> it's the improved pedals in the, in the base there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how the chickens do it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Amy, how, what you got building over there? Anything new? 
Did you hear me? Can you hear me now? Oh, can yeah. you? Yeah. Now can you. you hear me? I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Good. I'm glad we're back on. Uh, I guess we could have uh, done a mic check for you. Sorry. <laughs> we do have plans for a cow barn. Oh, wow. Oh, that's okay. We do have plans for a cow barn, but we haven't moved ahead anymore on that since whatever last last week. But it's it's like down the road plans, like when it warms up. Yeah. So still brainstorming that. And uh, we're going to have to set up a separate pen for my boy goats unless we want babies sooner than later. Because mm. uh, so far the problem has been my little boy that is active because um, I have one neutered and one not. And so far he's been too short to do his job. He's little. He's about to be big. <laughs> he's been too short to do, to do, do his job. But I've been noticing that he must be going through a growth spurt because he, he's, it's, it's getting close you, to being able to Are you talking about the goat's body or the, or the goat's equipment? <laughs> <laughs> um, I suppose that. both. I haven't measured that. <laughs> but when he's standing on all four feet, um, <laughs> I haven't measured it. But I mean, his height, you know, yeah, what yeah, he yeah. is. Cause they're, they're little, they're Nigerian dwarfs. So we need to start thinking about that. Otherwise we're going to have uh, babies. Oh my word, Rev. Actually, have you ever seen a goat thing? It's I'm trying to help. Gross. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, speaking of little. I never seen a big no business. Little. I bet that's pretty ugly too. Yeah. Um, uh, oh. I don't know if you've been over to John and Debbie's place lately, but you know, the little pig that I told you it was a little dwarf called Dinky. Yeah, anyway, my he, little baby. Yeah, he's like the same size as a normal pig now. Oh it's yeah, like, he's oh, wow. he's almost taller than Stan. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. So uh, it was. It's just like I can't believe that's uh, that little dwarf drew, grew so much. But so never underestimate your to, little I dwarf. I wanted him to piglet. stay. <laughs> And be my little pig, but it ain't happening. Yeah. He's gonna be his days old. Yeah. Or Sparky. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's amazing to see that pig now. So, uh, um, what about your greenhouse there, Amy? We haven't come up with a solution for that. It's kind of a a heap of mess right now, and we we just haven't moved on that. I'm not not sure what we're gonna do with it. Well, yeah, you're gonna, have, you know, you have a seed, you know, growing seedlings are coming up. You're gonna have to think about something, or are you gonna wait till I know we've been thinking uh, about it. Just kind of settled. Yeah, for a lot of people don't know, our last freezing date is like June 8th, 10th, something like what? that. What? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's it's pretty bad. So you got to have a greenhouse here for sure. Here. So. Uh, Anyway, so infrastructure. Trail. <laughs> so an uh, infrastructure people uh, um, usually with homesteads. If we got things for planned for this year for new uh, new animals or or piglets or whatever we got cows or whatever, a lot of times we have to build stuff, and so uh, uh, that's kind of oh, what we wow. mean by what's the what's the infrastructures uh, new for everybody's homesteads this year. And uh, in the comments below, for those who watch the show even after the live show. Uh, let us know what kind of buildings and what kind of projects you're working on this year. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, the next thing is, John has no idea what I'm talking about when I say document your processes. <laughs> yep. This is jo John and Debbie's John. Um, so Amy, uh, she's probably mad at me because every time she made a video, I'd make a video after that commenting on her video. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed so, uh, that. <laughs> she brought up, a, she had a great video bringing up the fact that uh, um, she was bringing up the fact that you should document what you do on your farm for many, many, many reasons. Uh, if, if you want to even think about a weekend vacation or, or vac uh, uh, to have some instructions of how to take care of your animals would be a nice tool to give to people uh, that come to take care of your animals to find out where the food is, how much they get, um, even a common area of little emergencies of one pig got out or something. And so uh, 
we actually had somebody, uh, we went to Vegas last year and, uh, uh, we had somebody come over and watch our house. And so we, um, we actually, Sherry typed up a really nice instructions. Of course we have more animals now, but, uh, I feel like we got to start on that. Um, but now we got to incorporate more cause obviously I went from three pigs and now I'm sitting with 12. And so, uh, uh, plus we, we got more chickens, all these things, but, uh, it's a, it's a living document basically as your, uh, uh, homesteads growing or decreasing whatever you got in there uh there'll be a time where uh amy was suggesting that all her girls were uh sick at at the time and so she couldn't oh, take yeah, care of animals and her maybe. husband and her husband <laughs> took the day off um just to cover that now imagine uh for example like me and sherry let's say i cut my arm or something i got to go in emergency sherry obviously would go in there and uh, who would cover our animals? And if I was asked John and Debbie or Amy or somebody to come over, uh, they have a general idea what to do. But it would be nice if they had some documents of knowing where's Rob keep uh, the food? Where does he keep uh, the minerals? Where does he keep know. this at? Oh, you're a snoop. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, those could uh, that could come up. And so uh, you, what you're really doing is just benefiting your homestead, benefiting the people that help with your homestead, uh, being ready for emergencies, the whole work. So uh, I wanted to bring up that subject in here and ask, actually, if I know Amy's talked about it, but I don't know if Amy's done it. <laughs> so you got a follow up to that um, video you did, Amy? Um, well, we were sick with the flu. And for one day I felt better and said, man, you know, we really got to have a backup. We got to write things down. And then I came down with a sinus infection. So, so that's why I sound funny and no, it hasn't been done yet, but it just, I, I'm done being, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, but it's, it's just more <laughs> proof that it needs to be done. Yeah. I want to say hello to Patty Hall and co corn fed. Corn fed life. Welcome. Uh, we've had corn. Actually, we've had both of them on the show before. So welcome. I'm glad to have you. So, so you haven't got this documentation done, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you're, you're young, full of energy, and you got all those talented you know, talents of being a, a, a young generation person and all that, and you haven't documented a thing. <laughs> And you made a video know, about it. You know what? There's really no excuse because there's this fancy, there's this fancy thing called speak to text. So, True. you know, laying in bed with tissues stuck up my nose, I could just speak into my phone and it could be done. But <laughs> good comeback <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> how about how about you, John Pierce? Do you uh, do you document anything on your homestead? You know, no. I, I, really, I really don't. I'm going to be honest. I get up. I go to work. I'm at work at six. I get off at four. I try to get home before it's dark. And I no, I do not have time to document. I, I get up in the morning on Saturdays. I watch a little bit of YouTube to try to figure out what I'm going to do today based on what everybody else is doing. <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a big copycat. He gets up on Saturday mornings, catches up on all of his Ranger Rob videos. <laughs> there's always, there's always time. There's always time for the big RR. Come on. <laughs> so, do you feed your pigs and stuff and all your animals before oh, yeah. you go to work? Oh yeah. It's funny too. It's funny too. My first set of pigs that I had last year, they um, they could give a darn about if I'm there ready to feed them and all that kind of stuff. I feed them in the same spot every day. I've got a, a, a nice, it's kind of similar to the ones that Living Traditions had, a little feeding table, you know, oh, place like them them. To, to feed. And, and um, uh, I, could, I could go out and feed them and eh, they were sleeping. They didn't, they didn't care. They knew they'd have it when they got up. These ones, I mean, it's, it's 545 in the morning and they're coming around the corner like, uh, holy <laughs> smokes, here we go. It's like, yeah. I, man, I don't know where they get that energy. So, but yeah, I, I feed them in the feed them in the mornings. Take care of the chickens. Take care of the. We got we got some uh, barn cats that that really help out a lot around the around the property as well. So, well, yep. well I I imagine Rev is probably highly documented, filed. 
filed, you know, and, and uh, all organized people chance. come over. It's in a notebook, <laughs> the whole work. So uh, it, it, that's it. Tell me, tell me that's so, Rev. It's absolutely true, but not <laughs> not because of me. It's because I have a lovely redheaded wife that does all oh. that kind of good stuff. Dude, and she's, and she's really like over the top about it. You know what I mean? Like she documents stuff we don't even need documented, but I just let her go anyway because it's better to be safe than sorry. And not only that, you know, when I work out of town during the week, you know, it's, she takes care of this place, you know, without me all yeah. week long. So, uh, um, you know, without her, this 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 farm probably wouldn't exist. But she does document everything. She she. Even when we order stuff, we ordered it on this date and it came on this date and we started the chickens on this. Day, you know what I mean? Like oh, sure all of it. Too. So, uh, yeah, I think John's got a good uh, plan, though, because all he would have to do is go back in his YouTube history and see what video he watched on what day. And he would know exactly what <laughs> yeah, he did. That. Yeah, that's a good. That's He's a good got one. it figured out. He's smarter than he knows he is. <laughs> there you go. There I, you go. But, Rev, you, you did just get me in trouble because I'm going to be honest, my wife. My wife takes, I don't let the chickens out that early in the morning. It's too dark. Wife gets up in the morning. She does take care of the chickens. Sorry, Mindy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I didn't mean to get anybody. No, you have no idea. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I met Mindy. She's she's a warrior. She is. She, she is. So, <laughs> I uh I, let me, I, I know I'm going to get this. You think Rev's question you know, answer was good? Wait till you hear this one. But I'm sure <laughs> J and D uh, pig hobby farm homestead is highly documented and and ready for strangers to start taking over the uh, the homestead. Right? It's all right up here. <laughs> <laughs> A whole list. Yeah, yeah. Well, see, Perfect. by by summer, everything's going to be centrally located in one spot. All Nobody. in the barn. And uh, with no instructions, right? <laughs> oh, you, you wouldn't need any. You got the barrels, you got the the hay, everything will be in there. Yeah, and I, I assume that you're going to label all these feed Don't compartments have to. and stuff? I'm pretty sure you can tell the difference between barrels and hay. <laughs> <laughs> What if what if your neighbor had to cover you because you you didn't no, have I wouldn't family. let my neighbor close, sorry. So <laughs> the way it really is, the way it really is, yeah. all the pig feed is going to be in the barn. Chicken feed is going to be with by the chickens. That works. And the rabbits have their space. Pretty much keep it simple then. Huh? Yeah. All right, so we, did, we finally covered that subject, but what I meant by documenting our processes, and we highly recommend folks, I uh, hope that kind of stimulated your thoughts for those who have been watching the show from outside here. Um, if you have a homestead or have animals or uh, things like that, uh, to have some of that stuff written down might just be a, the greatest thing you ever did if you had an emergency. So. But I want to move on to something I thought was very, we actually uh, brought up um, uh, Living Traditions Homestead. And uh, I've watched them just for a long time. In fact, my chicken tractor is their design, and my my uh, chicken shaw is the uh, Justin Rhodes design. And so, uh, so yeah, I, I have my favorites too. But I wanted to bring up a video that they just did about um, being self reliant, and uh, and I think all of us sometimes get in this mode. Some of us probably got in, in perspective better than others, um, but. Uh, they want to put emphasis on going uh, that there's a pressure on homesteaders and preppers and stuff like that, that you should be able to be totally self-reliant. You don't have to go to the store and buy anything. You should grow it all your own. You should be totally self-sufficient. And they're, t they're saying, they basically said that's hogwash. Um, it's, it's virtually almost impossible. And you, even they were kind of quoting to, even in the 1800s with the Western days and stuff, that's what the mercantile was for, to bring in the things and had shipped from the, the country um, that uh, homesteaders just couldn't grow, like maybe salt or maybe uh, cooking oils and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, uh, they're kind of mentioning that a lot of people seem to be putting the pressure on people that are homesteading or trying to be self-reliant that you want to try to do everything yourself. And I'm telling you, there's no freaking way we're going to be able to do it. And I don't want to do it. Um, so the attitude we take here is we kind of grow the things we really enjoy 
like tomatoes. Oh my gosh, nothing beats fresh tomatoes. And uh, uh, but there's tons of other foods that we. I'd rather just go to the grocery store and pick up. Like I don't. I love Walla Walla onions, and we kill it on Walla Walla onions. But I don't do very good on the other onions, and I don't even eat that many of the onions. So I buy my yellows and my purples and stuff like that from the grocery store. Um, and I don't have a cow, so obviously all my dairy is coming from the store. Uh, that means I'm not making my own cheese. I'm not making my own uh, – um, what else do you make from uh, <laughs> dairy? <laughs> I don't make my own cream, things like that. Uh, so – it's virtually almost impossible for a lot of folks to be able to do the, to have a goal like that. And so um, I think my our attitude is here, if we had an emergency, let's say we had power outages, we got attacked and maybe some things that we would survive just fine, but we probably have to go without some of the little special things like Oreo cookies and <laughs> things like that. <laughs> What? My fire, fireball wouldn't have any more of that. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, so I, I can't want to hear everybody's. What was that? She said, I "Buy heard. in bulk." That's why you buy in bulk. So you gotta have exactly. a, you gotta have a stockpile yeah. of the fireball. Yes, yes, and and then I was really depressed because uh, uh, Debbie called me up. He goes, "You know those little baby fireballs? They don't have alcohol in them." Yeah. Well, they have alcohol in them. No whiskey in them. What was that? They have no whiskey in them. They're malt. That's just wrong. I know. <laughs> it's wrong. I, 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 that's the, that the best cost syrup in the world. I'm telling you. But, uh, so, uh, I want to stay with Amy. You were kind of bringing it up. So, how do you feel about, or have you, have you put undue pressure on yourself about trying to be self reliant, or have you, uh, uh, realize that it's not a realistic thing, or, or how do you feel about that? To be completely honest, and this is probably an unpopular opinion, I feel like the opposite. I feel like I, we, I have put more pressure on myself to be a people, more so that, versus being more self-reliant so that's yeah. probably unpopular uh no. but oh, I, wow. that's the way i feel is that i had more pressure on myself go ahead uh more pressure on myself to good night elijah to produce extra for other people in certain areas like dairy or eggs yeah. or vegetables where if I scaled back and didn't try to take care of the whole neighborhood, I could do more of the small things for ourselves, like even down to making our own clothes. I didn't have time to sew when I was doing a huge time garden and selling vegetable stuff. And exactly. Whereas if I was more focused on small scale, like just our compound, that I, I was actually more productive and more at peace than if I, I was hard scale. And now I can't, it kind of goes back to your fireball. I can't, I don't have a, the fiber and weave the fabric, right? But right. I have a collection a ton of fabric that we, I could keep us clothed for years. I have some fabric. <laughs> so, so no, I can't make the fiber. So it's not scratch, but um, yeah, that's my two cents. Yeah. Oh, John Pearson's what do you, how do you feel about being self-reliant? You want to be more or less or try to just like, you know what? I, I try to, I keep coming back to work, but I, I, try to uh, separate myself from work when I get home and I've got this place and I've got all of these plans and I try, I, what I, what I do is I am the king of overcommit and uh, <laughs> you know, I, there, there's no reason why I plant as much corn as I plant. And there's no reason why I plant as many tomatoes as I plant. Um, yeah. I, uh, Mindy is, Mindy's the one who's, trying to ground me a little bit more 
she said, we just don't eat that much marinara. So, <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I haven't burnt myself out yet to the point where I'm saying, hey, I really want to cut back. I, I, I get done with the season like, like everybody else. I get done with the season. There isn't anybody probably on this screen or on this show who's not going, gosh, I can't wait to plant some seeds. You know what I mean? Oh, it's killing but, me. But, but, when, but, but when the time, but when the time uh, you know, but when the growing season is over, it's like they can't wait till the season is over. So <laughs> it's, it's one of those things. I, uh, I, uh, I, I do uh, want to be more, more self, uh, you know, sufficient, more self-reliant. Um, wow. But on the same token, okay, I, I, my time is worth something as well. And I got to have, I got to remember to have quality time. <laughs> yeah. I think the biggest thing with me is this, uh, it isn't so much I want to have everything. I do try to have extra salt, extra medicines, things like that. I even have radiation tablets here. Just they're not that expensive. I put them in the preps, <laughs> but uh, I do like the fact of knowing that if something unexpected happened, um, and you know our whole our whole continent's surrounded by enemies right now, so you never know what could happen. I just want to be able to function, and that's really my attitude. So I may run out of salt, but I can still eat, and I may not be able to make uh, you know all these things, but because we taking a lot of our food and we fr you know, freeze dry it and stuff like that. It's nice to know I have that peace of mind that we're in pretty good shape for six months to a year yeah. on, on backup food, but it's not going to be as nice as it is today. Um, but uh, that's kind of been our goal here. But uh, I, and, and I've, I've had time on my hands. So I've been kind of in this mindset for, you know, five, six years now. So our pantries are looking good. So I, I try to make sure we have extra fuel, extra propane, uh, special systems on the house that we could uh, keep the lights on. I can still heat the house with a pellet stove and a, a generator and, and things like that. And if comes up, you got the RV. Yep. Same as yeah. us. Yeah. Oh, How about you? Here's, Where here's one oh, that right. was on Debbie. The grandkids oh, wow. came up and they uh, said, you know, Grammy, if something ever happens to you, we're going to get left with a bunch of, <laughs> a bunch of canned goods. That's all we're going to be left with. And you're, you're just going to have that all divvied out to us. They <laughs> might, I love my family. You know we what? They might, that might be the greatest viewer. gift someday. <laughs> so, so Rev, in your place over there, I know you have uh, some kids and stuff. Um, you're, uh, do you ever think about how you want to be self-reliant or being prepared? Or maybe you just say, I don't want to be prepared. I just want to go up and smoke. <laughs> you know? I are. Uh... No, no, I, I don't have that attitude. That's for sure. Uh, um, I think there's only so much you can do, like John was saying, you know, within reason. You know, uh, of course, you know, you're a fool if you don't have stored food under your bed for like three or four months or something like that. But, mm -hmm. you know, I, I mean, I got a lot of land here. I could do a lot, you know, but I'm, I can't do – I'm not going to push myself but so hard. You got to keep it within reason, you know, and and how much are you going to do? We do also. I mean, do you have a millstone? If you don't have a millstone, how much grain are you making? You know what I mean? Or are you making yep. bread? You know, and when we run out of sweet tea, I'm going eight. I'm going AP anyway. So, the, so you know, <laughs> I can only go so far. Um, but uh, I think there's you, you can only do so much or you just drive yourself crazy. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because because there's always more you can do, and then if if there's always more, then where do you draw the line? And 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 that becomes just you know crazy town. Yeah. yeah. How about you, John and Debbie? You are you preppers? Are you ready for the end of the? You got your submachine guns we, all ready to go. Got and... at least two to three months supply, and that's about <laughs> it. You yeah. know, ever since ever since my kids got out on their own, I've always I went on this trip in my head that I had to have food that they need to come home and go shopping. Yeah. So we have so much food that <laughs> yeah. so me doing the garden in my brain it was for of course some for us the fresh stuff but it was mostly to compensate the food for the animals. And we just like to raise animals. I mean that it, it's such a kick in the ass. Do you, ever, do you find, uh, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I asked the old people in the top there, 
Um, I don't know who find, you're talking about. <laughs> when it comes to prepping or getting ready for, do you find it less as a pressure as if maybe we were still in our 30s or 40s? Uh, I, I mean, it's more of a, it's not really a prepping. It's pressure. I don't like going to the store for one. <laughs> so the more, I mean, we go maybe once every two months and then we get sticker shock. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, can you guys just hear me going down the aisle? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I think we're, I think we're all afraid to say that. Ridiculous. Yeah. I know. Um, I don't feel pressure at all, actually, because oh. I mean we're retired, therefore it's more like our it's a hobby. title. It's a hobby for us, so yeah. yeah, I don't really feel that much pressure yet. I think I think Rev's trying to sneak his way to the bathroom. No, man. <laughs> what was that question? Can you Shane hear was barking out here. <laughs> Shane was barking out here. Come here, Shane. Come here. Come that here, fearsome, boy. That fearsome German shepherd. Yeah, he's he's out here barking at coyotes. Yeah. Mine barks mine sounds really mean, but she's a wimp. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. When my Jack Russell starts barking at him, he just put, goes right to the ground. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know where people thought German Shepherds were tough, but three minute warning. Wow. Are you kidding me? That's John. That, I think Jack just took you John. You have in the time. Yeah. Uh, uh, you actually, you got two minutes left. You're fired. Oh. <laughs> Come on, John. Get with it, man. Right? <laughs> I've been watching it. <laughs> no cookie for you tonight. I need to remind John Pearson that when we uh, go offline here, yeah. don't don't shut down. We're still there's a there's always an after party. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh yeah. Fireball and everything. That's when the hors d'oeuvres come out. Nice. Yeah, yeah. We get loose then. So uh, I'm going to quickly um, go around the circle here before we hit our one minute mark here and ask Amy, what's one of your favorite? Um, uh, YouTube channels. Is this a Ranger trick Rob question? Country Living? It's a setup. <laughs> it's not a trick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's others. I'm sure you're on this one. That's how good it is. Yeah. That, that's it, Ranger Rob. Well, this Yay! Is a trick question. That, that's my answer. I'm sticking to it because nobody else can take my answer. I already said it. Yeah. There oh, you, you go, Aim. Proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. Mine is Dragonfly Farms. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. mine too. How about you, John Pearson? What's your favorite YouTube channel? You know, uh, I started watching, when I start, first started watching YouTube, there was uh, Sean James, my self reliance guy building a log cabin out in the Canadian oh. woods. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 love enjoy, I enjoy his channel. I never miss an episode of, of the big RR. And uh, it's nice to see Amy kicking out some some uh, stuff on her channel as well. I do watch uh, just a few acres. That's a lot of fun. Um, yeah. You know, outside of that, that's uh, that's uh, yeah. I do watch. Uh, um, I do watch uh, Homestead Heart, and I do watch. Uh, oh, what's the one we were just talking about? Um, Living traditions. Living traditions. Oh, yeah. So those are those are my those are my uh, my Your go tos. Go-tos? Yeah. How about you, Rev? You guys took all the good ones, man. Well, you um, can you can you can take them. I'll, I'll I'll give you two. There's there's a guy that looks just like John, who's right below me right now, and he's called Doctor Steve Turley, and he does a lot of great stuff on YouTube. It has nothing to do with Homestead. And another non Homestead one is uh, a comedian named Ginger Billy, who does a lot of funny stuff uh, with tractors and uh, skid steers and stuff like that online on cool. YouTube. Ginger right. Billy. You gotta move quickly over to John and Debbie and then wrap it up. So, how about you, John and Debbie? What's your latest ones you've been watching? So, we watch, um, <laughs> shit, <laughs> living tradition, of course. Yep. <laughs> um, uh, the green, green dream, green machine. dream. We watch them, and oh, you're one of them. Uh, shiny home, yeah, tiny, shiny home. Oh yeah, they're fine. They're all off grid in Arizona. Yeah. Cool. Uh, we watch and we watch all the other ones you guys already mentioned. 
But yeah. All right, guys, I got to wrap it up here. I only watch on TV when he's not watching the news. (laughs) I do like Homestead Rescue. That's one of the ones we like on TV. Um, Anyway, guys, we got to wrap it up here. I want to thank definitely uh, having John Pearson here and Rev. You guys are always welcome on the show. We'd love to just have you as a regular if you ever feel up to it. Uh, but you're always invited. Just hit the button. <laughs> and you're, you're that in button. That good. Yeah. So, guys, uh, thank you very much for uh, and my host. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see everybody next week. So uh, take care now. Bye. Graphics. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available on Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.